Hi, my name is Rahul Sharma. I am the owner of Guwahati Microgreens. Microgreens are vegetables harvested just after the cotyledon leaves have developed with one set of true leaves. Microgreens are smaller than baby greens because they are harvested very soon after sprouting rather than after the plant has matured to produce multiple leaves. Guwahati Microgreen is one of the first microgreen farm in northeast of India. We grow microgreens for individuals and businesses in Guwahati. Rahul's schooling has been in various parts of northeast India as his father was a banker at the State Bank of India. He initially started studying in Arunachal Pradesh, then came back to Assam and later shifted to Karbi Anglong. Guwahati Microgreens have received mentoring and networking support by participating in various startup mentoring initiative by Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship. The idea of Guwahati Microgreens started right during the lockdown. I come from tourism background. For at least two, three years, tourism will get a very bad hit. So I was looking for an alternative. All my savings were getting dry. Then there was a surge in the ideas of different ways of farming in all the youngsters throughout India, I believe. Luckily, I had a lot of friends who are into the hospitality business, who are working as a great chef in a lot of different five-star hotels. And I have some good nutritionist friends and doctors who told me the benefits of microgreens and how I can start. It was complete lockdown. We had nowhere to go out. So to start the trials of microgreens, I home picked everything from my kitchen. Like my cocoa peat came from the dried coconut that we have in our kitchen garden. The mustard seeds through which I started initially as a trial was from my mother's kitchen. In seven days, I saw a very good result, which was very inspiring. I thought, ki, okay, let's create some more on a trial basis then let's distribute it amongst the neighbors and close family members who lives nearby and then if they like it then I can think about it to go commercially and by God's grace everyone liked it because the taste was completely different from what they were having and if you think about the health benefits of microgreens these are 10 to 40 times more nutritious than the mature plant so I told them that as well and they were very inspired by whatever I was doing that was the genesis of Mahati microgreens when I conceptualized microgreens, everything was okay. So I made a control environment system to grow my microgreens. I made a proper vertical farm and it was one of the first vertical farms in Northeast India or probably in Guwahati. Uh, later, when I jumped into action and then I thought, okay, okay, this is the time to start marketing. The first and foremost problem that I faced was the lack of awareness. No one knew about what is microgreens. A handful of chefs, they were the only people who knew about microgreens. Thanks to a few journalists and radio jockeys, they helped me a lot to reach out to a lot of people. One article about my farm was trending on Google in 2020 that someone from Guwahati is doing that. So that was a major big throw. And later on, I was invited to a lot of uh, radio shows and then a lot of newspaper agencies and magazines talked about microgreens. So that was the first push. And then uh, thereafter, I reached out to a lot of restaurants and a lot of nutritionists, health freaks. In within one year, I saw a good growth in the market. Right now, I'm catering to about 20, 25 fine lines, five stars and cafes in Guwahati. And I have about 30, 35 monthly subscribers. When I started, I just had three subscribers at one cafe. There's still a big, big scope for awareness and for which a big amount of investment is required and that is a big challenge for an entrepreneur like me who had started everything single-handedly from growing to marketing to sales and to deliver. Uh, my advice for the young entrepreneurs is you may fail once, you may fail twice, but then if you really have that faith in yourself, then no one can stop you. It's never too late also. You know, if you think of doing something, you must do it no matter, even if you are thinking quite late. This case study video was presented to you by Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship. To celebrate India completing 75 glorious years of independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav.